history has been made. And it's amazing that it happened on the Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders. One of their players, Carl Nassib, came out as gay. The first NFL player to be openly gay. Uh, probably one of many football players who are gay. I'm sure there's, uh, I'm sure there's a bunch in, in many sports. Uh, but yeah, he was the first to come out. Uh, and uh, he's donating a bunch of money to uh, uh, suicide prevention for the LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus community, um, which is great. It's uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting. Out of all of the teams to in the NFL, like it, it doesn't really it, like it's surprising. I don't know what team in the NFL would be the most likely to have gay players on them, you know. But the, being the Raiders, because like the Raiders are like the symbol of in at least Southern California are the symbol of like gang attire <laughs> like growing up like that was you know silver and black that's some like that's some like gang stuff and then you have probably the one i would expect there to be uh, a gay player on if not multiple would be the chargers uh which is a team that uh, used to be in san diego i don't know where they are now but uh a team which i tried to tried to get into football watching when i lived in san diego i was like i'm going to i finally live in a city that has a team i'm going to root for the chargers and uh it was actually the season where they actually went to the playoffs did they go to the playoffs did they go to the super bowl i don't know it was when they had like that one coach Mar marty schottenheimer was that the guy's name um and they fired him. They got Norv Turner after him, and he's just one of the worst, like it, just uh, one of the most painful uh, coaches to watch uh, run that team. Which we, it was a good team, and it was just, it was just depressing to see. It's like, oh, I have to be a fan of this team knowing that they're running it. It's like somebody being a Republican when Trump was in, in office. Like, like you're just dedicated to that team despite the fact that they're clearly ruining things. Um, that's what it was like when Norv Turner was the coach of the Chargers, trying to be a fan of the NFL and a team in the NFL. Really, really, I, you know, I went to live games. I would go to sports bars. I was into it, man. I, was, I had jerseys, knockoff, you know, jerseys, because those are expensive. So you got to find somebody that can get, you know, the knockoff ones for a good price. Uh, but I was in it, man, for a few years. I tried. And then it was like, why am I rooting for a team just because they're in my city when the coach is horrible? Like, they don't know. They're just wasting plays. Like, the, the plays that are being called. And then you have this quarterback that's just like, man, it, it's just, it was painful. I couldn't do it. Uh, so I could see, like, the Chargers being a team where a player could be, especially when they were in San Diego. You know, there's a pretty big uh, gay population in San Diego, uh, despite San Diego being pretty conservative, uh, really conservative uh, town, both on like the finance, like there's a lot of wealth in San Diego, but then also there's like a lot of white trash in the East County. So you're getting like both sides of the conservative spectrum, the, the people that that are rich enough to where they don't have to pay taxes. And then you have uh, the just uneducated people that are racist. Uh, but yeah, the Raiders, congratulations. That's amazing. I, it's going to be interesting to see if there's any, any, uh, cause, you know, any pushback or any like controversy, you know? I mean, a guy protesting cops killing people, uh, I think, ruined that, that one dude's career. So it's like, you know, just for kneeling. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I really don't care about the NFL at all uh, or any. Sp I don't watch any sports anymore. Used to watch UFC. But Disney, Disney convinced me, you know, Disney, the greed of Disney is the reason I don't watch the UFC anymore. Uh, but yeah, congratulations to Carl Nassib living your true self. Everybody should just be yourself. 
Be open to who you are. Stop, like, the, everybody's got a facade, whether it's you're in the closet for your sexual identity, which means nothing. I mean, it's, it means, I guess, it's part of who you are, but it shouldn't be your identity, you know? Like, you're, like th there should be a lot of other parts of things and interests of yours that are aside from just your preference of sexual partner. Uh, or lack of, you know, if you're asexual or bisexual. It, it's a whole spectrum of what you're into that, you know, it, it, just like everything. There's gray area to everything. There's a spectrum to everything. And uh, try to live your the truest self, not having to hide behind some false mask, some false uh, facade of uh, existence uh, is a much easier way to live you know constant living in a i mean you're basically living a lie you're not out which i understand it's hard you know society culturally in america forces a lot of people whether they be gay or you know nazis you know society kind of forces a lot of people to not be openly themselves but then you get people like trump in office and they make p nazis very comfortable to just be their racist white supremacist self like that's what trump trump inspired all of the hateful people to be openly hateful that's what trump inspired in people and hopefully uh this dude will inspire people uh to feel comfortable to despite being in a rough sport like uh, the NFL, uh, like a manly man sport like there are gay dudes in manly shit you're just going to have to deal with it. All forms. All f every, every, there's billions of people on the planet living 100% unique existences. Like their reality is different from every other human on the planet. Just going to have to, we don't fit into easy categories. We're not DVDs on a blockbuster shelf.